Watching the world burn, watching the world burn. January 2024, let's get into it. So I guess the story of the day was the ruling by the International Court of Justice. I swear, if you're like me, I didn't even know there was an International Court of Justice until the, I guess what, when South Africa brought that case and everything came up and I was like, oh, there's an International Court, who knew? And I, there's a lot of people that sit on that court. I guess, it, you know, a lot of people are drifting because, I mean, you know, I've never even heard of a case before the International Court of Justice before. So anyway, uh, but the ruling, uh, it was mixed. They didn't rule it a genocide. They just uh, said that uh, Israel should re refrain from committing genocide. So whatever that's supposed to mean, I guess that 10,000 dead kids and 30,000 dead civilians and uh and uh, by the way i just want to get to the radio again you know i'm sitting here listening to to the radio and they say the horrific the horrific events of october 7th on israel israel has a right to defend itself well you know the numbers have been shrinking as far as uh how many israelis died that day i think it's about 750 and then of course you uh You've got uh, a lot of those were killed by Israeli troops. It's coming out uh, for real now. Families have, have come forward uh, protesting Netanyahu. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, when the truth all comes out on all of that. But uh, the thing that got me most of all was they don't even mention 10,000 dead kids. I mean, I, as far as I know, not a single child. Well, there's, I think there's one in captivity right now that I've heard about. But I don't. I haven't seen any pictures of dead children, uh, Israeli children. Now I've seen lots of horrific pictures of dead Palestinian children uh, and women. Thirty thousand civilians. That's not horrific. Now they're subhuman, right? Isn't that the way we got to look at it here in the United States? Especially if you're a Democrat, you, know, you hate the Palestinians. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to talk about that first. Uh, you know my opinion. I think that the the Zionists need to be stopped and the Palestinians need their own home to call home uh, because I'm a humanist. I guess uh, I've got no skin in the game, thank God. I would hate to, you know, but the thing is, the Israelis have been committing genocide. They've killed Christians. You'd think Christians would be up in arms about that, huh? Anyway, let's get on to some other news and quit talking about that. Uh, latest on Ukraine. I got more information on that 90,000 uh, soldier uh, uh, fiasco that's taking place up in uh, Finland. Uh, I thought that Russia might view that with some concern, but what I'm finding out is uh, most of those troops are just uh, logistics, and uh, it's really kind of just a, a show of nothingness <laughs> that NATO's putting on display how weak they are. So that we'll see that. Oh, the bad news back on uh, Gaza is we're shipping a bunch more um, weapons over there, uh, mainly in planes, I guess, because, uh, well, in the hoodies, won a battle down in the uh, Red Sea. Uh, there was two uh, two merchant ships, and uh, I think it was, I don't remember what the, uh, the, the military vessel, I want to say a destroyer, and uh, they actually had to turn around. The hoodies drove them back. So all traffic through the Red Sea is pretty much stalled unless you're a Russian ship or a Chinese ship. <laughs> they, they're, and I, you know, that's the thing. How in the hell do the Hooties know which ship is which? I mean, it seems to me just like the pirates used to do is if you have a, an American merchant ship and you're going to the Israeli port, you just roll up a Russian flag <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> and pretend you're a Russian ship, right? I don't know. Maybe I guess that's against international law, but wouldn't have we ever thought about obeying international law in fact that that's what's going to happen i forgot to talk about that aspect of the case is the united states uh will be the sole veto of the uh, international court because it's going to go before the security council now and understand that you know all the nations on the security council britain will probably abstain i don't think they'll vote against it and then the united states will vote against it which will invalidate the uh, court's ruling but think about it that means every nation in the world is against the United States. We're getting more and more isolated under this uh, Democrat administration. 
getting back to the Middle East, I wanted to talk about the news is, is that we may be pulling troops out of Syria and out of Iraq, which is good and bad. Okay, because uh, I was thinking, wow, finally, those troops were sitting there, they were vulnerable, they needed to be pulled out. I was all happy about it, but then somebody gave an analysis, can't remember who it was, I was watching on TV, and I, I tend to agree with them. He says, well, the reason he felt that they're pulling the troops out is because they're getting ready to bomb Iran. Because if they bomb Iran and those, there's troops on those bases, you know they're going to get uh, vaporized especially by Iran with all of their missiles and everything. So that's the reason that they think that those troops are being pulled out of Iraq, which means that the, uh, the, the warmongering Democrats are going to broaden the war. And boy, if they do that, we're going to be in a world of hurt. Because then you might end up shutting down the uh, Straits of Hormuz. So not only would the Red Sea be closed to traffic, you want to talk about oil prices skyrocketing. Holy shit. And then, you know, the other thing is here, everybody says, oh, you talk about Democrats, talk about Democrats. Understand the rhinos are Democrats. Mitch McConnell's a Democrat. Uh, Romney, at least Romney's going to be gone. He says he's not even going to bother to try to run again. He's, he's a Democrat. And, of course, Lindsey Graham, my God, you got to get this guy out, man. He, that guy is a complete lunatic, man. Holy moly. So we got to get these, these rhinos out of the uh, Congress. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with the election. Uh, by the way, I, I'm sure you're following along on the Texas uh, uh, thing that's taking place. Uh, don't don't make anything of that. You know, it's not going to come to, to uh, weapons being drawn or anything like that. Because right, understand, Abbott is a rhino. That's a Democrat that's leading Texas. He's all for the open border. He's just trying to make a show so that he can, you know, uh, his Republican base will think that he's doing something. He could have done something two years ago, three years ago. You know, this this whole thing, he could have closed that border anytime he wanted. He's not closing the border. He's just making a show. And then understand that the other uh, 25 Republican states, they just signed a letter. It said, oh, we support Texas. Are they sending troops to the border? Are they Have they activated their National Guard? Now, I think... DeSantis came out and said that he is providing some personnel to Texas and if that's the case then that that would be wonderful but I don't think any of the other states have sent a damn thing to try to secure the border they're just giving it lip service so the border is still wide open and uh, the Democrats uh, and that's you know if you're black and you watch any of my videos would you leave me a comment you do know you're being replaced by the, with the illegal aliens, <laughs> you know, because the, the Democrat Party is the corporate, they're, they're fascist, okay? They're for the corporations. They're not for the working class people. They're certainly not for the blacks. I mean, you know, they, they want the blacks to all kill each other. Why do you think they're letting all the criminals go in the, in, in the black cities? But yet, blacks, I guess, are going to vote Democrat, because that's uh, somehow the Democrats got them to think that they're looking out for them when they're not anyway leave a leave a comment <clears throat> you know one thing i wanted to do is put the numbers game in perspective because a lot of times you know you throw out a number and it just doesn't sound that bad you know a million dead ukrainians Ooh, man, that sounds like a big number but let's think about it let's see 9 11 9 11 3 000, some odd americans died horrifically when the uh, twin towers were taken down a lot of speculation about that by the way uh, so now we take uh, 30,000 dead Palestinians. Well, let's see, that's three. That's two. That'd be two pounds. How many towers would that be to take down? Quite a few, wouldn't it? Holy moly. So I just wanted to kind of throw that, that number out to you so that you can kind of think about it. So, and then of course you get into $34 trillion in debt. And boy, it's going up exponentially at this point. We can't even, we're getting to the point where we're not going to be able to pay the interest on the debt. Or the interest on the debt actually is going to be greater than our military uh, defense budget, which really doesn't matter. No matter how much money we throw at the defense budget, all it does is make a bunch of people rich and doesn't make us any safer here in the United States. Because of the way that's set up with all the kickbacks and everything that takes place uh, with the, the whole 
defense uh, industry, so to speak. But Congress gets a lot of that money. But uh, anyway, just thought I'd throw that out, put that in perspective for you. Think about that. Think about it. And by the way, those 3,000 people did. We killed over a million in Iraq as a result of that. We were in Afghanistan for 20 years killing uh, Taliban uh, and Al Qaeda uh, and a lot of other people. So think about that. That, that 3,000 people resulted in 20 years of war for the United States killing uh, millions. And uh, now we've got uh, 30,000 dead Palestinians for 750 Israelis that died on October 7th. Just saying. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.